We're just on the way to the airport going from Melbourne to Barcelona. I'm actually speaking in a conference. I'm gonna meet up with a lot of really cool smart founders and I really wanted to just document this and so you guys can see the life behind the scenes of what goes down at Founder. There's never been a better time in history to become an entrepreneur, but building a business can be tough. It's difficult to know who to trust and who to listen to. When we started, they said magazines are a dying trade, media companies can't survive. But here we are now building one of the fastest growing media companies in the world. And we're sharing the behind the scenes with you of what we're building and how we're doing it and stories of entrepreneurs exactly like you so that you can discover exactly what it takes to build and grow a successful business. This is Founders Hustle. So we've arrived in the hotel, just got settled now, and uh, gonna have dinner with uh, one of our teachers, Greta. Uh, she teaches our e-commerce course, Start and Scale. The conference is in a couple of days. So looking forward to just exploring. We've got to found a meetup tomorrow. Gonna hang out also with uh, one of our designers, Juliano. So it's gonna be awesome just uh, getting prepped for the conference and, and uh, catching up with a ton of people. <laughs> So this is the thing, right, guys? You, your company, like, it doesn't need to be in one physical location. Yeah. Like, you know, you do incredible work, and we've been, well, you've been working at Founder for like the past year, and yeah. we've pumped out some insane stuff, but we've never met in person. It's yeah. crazy, right? Also, I think all, all the people from all our, around the world working with Founder are just adding so much culture and so much different perspective, different backgrounds, not just people from Australia, people from all around the world making founder green. Yeah. Just in the speaker's back room, this is Mo, e-commerce funnels expert. It's me. And uh, I had a really good question for him, Emily, my girlfriend. She runs a physical product-based business and uh, we need to increase the average order value. So the question that I asked Mo was how would he go about it? So we've got a physical product and it's got an average order value of about $37. So uh, I'm going to hand over to you, Mo. What would you do, man? How would you make that thing convert? Okay, so the first thing that I would do is uh, I will build the funnel, so you will build the pre-sell page where you will educate people or uh, more or less pre-sell them on the product itself and then there will be like an add to cart button, usually we space it up, like it doesn't say add to cart, it say I deserve this or I want this right now and then out of that you push them to the checkout page. Now here is the kicker, on the checkout page you only have your uh, your bar of water, right? Yeah. So what you do is you do quantity breakdown, so you sell them like one at, what's the price? Oh, so, so the, 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 the bottle is like uh, $30 US. $30 US, so you give them one at $30. Two at instead of sixty, you give them two at fifty dollars. Three at you know more discount. So the more they buy, the, ah. the like it's a quantity break basically. The more yeah. they buy, the units gets cheaper. And then what you do is you highlight like two or three. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you push people to subconsciously think about buying two or three. Another thing you do is you add an FAQ to your checkout page and one of the FAQs why you need to buy two or three bars. Ah. You know what I mean? Why do you need to buy two or three bars, not just one? And the order bump, and this is one of the best order bumps that I can do, is uh, you either can do faster shipment or faster fulfillment. Ah. So faster shipment, let's say you are using like USPS if you're selling in the US, then you use USPS priority, mm -hmm. where it costs you $1 more, but you're charging $4.99 for it. And usually the take rate on that is 30%. Yeah, wow. Account. All right, or you use uh, priority fulfillment where their orders get out before everyone else. So if you're shipping, let's say, every two days, the orders who take the priority fulfillment will ship the same day for yes. $4.99, but it costs you nothing because all what you're doing is moving these orders on top of the line. Then you have your first upsell, and the thing with the first upsell is I always sell more of the same yes. at a discounted price. So ah. if your bottle costs, like if your bottle you're selling at 30, 
and let's say it's costing you five dollars I honestly don't know how much it's costing you let's say if you sell it at twenty dollars so it's like uh, an offer that they cannot refuse in a way hey buy one more for twenty dollars and most people will take that because it's cheaper and they are already invested and they bought like two or three bottles and then oh my god this is just 20 boom buy one more and then if they say no to that you offer them the same bottle again at a more discounted price ah, if they say no to it yes right? then your second upsell will be your ebook yeah I don't know what the ebook is about but that will be your ebook and then the downsell will be again the ebook at a cheaper price or what you can do is you give them the first upsell as the ebook, and if they buy it, they get a free bottle. Ah. So, you bundle it up. so you can play a lot with the upsells and downsells, and the idea is to create your offers, and you don't need like extra products to come up with upsells or downsells. It's the same product, different offers. Same products, different offers. So you you put them like it's all about the value proposition of your offer, and you put them in your funnel in a way that they will say yes to it. So basically, that's how you uh, you, you you push your uh, AOV. That's how you increase your AOV. And if let's say I don't know if you do uh, I, I don't know what the product does exactly, but if your product can be defective or something like that, you can offer warranty six months. Ah. Warranty. If they say no to the six months, you offer them three months warranty. And then the thank you page. It is the kicker. It is the the, the next stage of that. Once they get their order, right? They get an email, hey, this is the founder of uh, whatever brand, yep. thank you for purchasing from us, here is a free gift, just cover shipping. Ah. They just cover shipping, you're good. Then Genius. You, your LTV day one, just double, which is technically your AOV, just double or triple. And then when they do like the free plus shipping, you can push them, you know, to other upsells and stuff like that. Wow. That's pretty much how, uh, how funnels work for e-commerce. Yeah, wow. Boom. Just about to go to a uh, launch party for the conference. <laughs> Stop laughing. Just credit ya. Alright, we'll see you inside.